Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create the assembly of wind turbine rotor in airplane design workbench. So let's activate the airplane design workbench and you can download it in add-on manager. You can find it here. This is description of this workbench and you just click install, restart the FreeCAD and activate it here. So let's activate it here and let's create the airfoil. You can uh, choose this current airfoils. I will choose this. Here we have the coordinates of this airfoil in non-dimensional view. And of course you can import here in that file yourself airfoil. So let's choose it, click OK and we have that automatically created the airfoil with split of spline. If we will not use split of spline, we will get only one spline for airfoil. But for the our purpose, uh, we will make the split. It will be edge of leading edge drilling, uh, leading edge line. So now just copy of our airfoil and paste it here we will uh, make the wing using five airfoils and now let's set the dimensions for our airfoils for of a wing so let's set the tip airfoil and translate it in y in Y direction in 300 millimeters so and after that let's translate in Y direction the second airfoil third airfoil I will set this dimensions it is my dimensions you can perform the calculation of uh, velocity triangle for set of this wings uh, for set of foils of wings and now let's change the angle position it is rotation of airfoil in y direction and set it here you can change the angle I will set 45 and change the heart heart of this airfoil and let's make it for all another airfoils change the angle of airfoil and length of airfoil it is here You can find in internet the special programs for calculation of this rotation and length of airfoil. You can paste it here and create the 3D model of wing of your wine turbine. So let's set it, the dimensions here. For the last airfoil, let's set the cord and rotation angle for Y axis, <coughs> of course, minus 10. And you can see our airfoils. So let's create the 3D model. For this, let's go to the part workbench and make the loft operation for airfoils. And choose here all airfoils just repeat after me you will get this 3d model and let's activate the create 3d model and uh, now we have 
our three D model of blade. It is very fast operation here. You have the upside, the downside of the pressure side, the suction side. It's called so here. And now in the second part of the video, let's go to the part design workbench and let's create the connection of, of our wing with hub just transport our loft to the body you will you will get the base future here and let's create the sketch on the surface so let's the first step is let's activate the toggle construction geometry and you here let's uh, import the external the trailing edge point and create the line so uh, and for this line you can create the point it will be uh, the half of length of our, our airfoil so let's deactivate the tangle construction geometry and create the circle here we can to connect our line with circle set the health of lens of airfoil it is 30 millimeters it is 15 millimeters here and set the radius 5 millimeters for this circle so let's make the extrusion for this click ok and make the refine too so um, here we have the, our connection connector with hub and let's make chamfer for this part for this edge and set 4.5 millimeters for chamfer and choose this edge let's set the field operation here and also for this part let's repeat creation of chamfer and set 0.5 I think it's enough let's so now let's make the involute gear uh, we will create this part because we want to change the uh, set angle of our wing in hub um, so we will set the number of this 12 it mean we can change uh, the position of our wing in hub in 12 different step it uh, 30 degrees for one teeth okay so let's make the map with our edge this gear and click ok and let's create the extrusion operation for this gear sketch let's choose this tool and 10 millimeters thickness for our operation let's make refine true and it will be our connection with hub okay let's make it import the external geometry and let the circle here set the radius for this circle it will be three millimeters radius and so let's make the cut operation for this it will be 10 millimeters the deep okay and now let's create the thread for our hole 
go to the fastness workbench you can also download it from add-on manager and you can find the basic tutorial for the fastness workbench in my channel also so let's just choose here paste it here for our edge and let's mix red true it will show us the thread and let's set the length 10 millimeters because we have the hole with 10 millimeters and set 11 and offset 1 millimeters 0.5 I think this will be enough so let's choose our le let's go to the part workbench and le uh, let's make the boolean operation for our two details and now we will simply create the have created the thread for connection so um, it is finish we have created the wing of wine turbine save this to the document thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye